Okay, uh, we were in the middle of working on Bill's car. We almost got the core support and uh, frame structure taken off his vehicle. He decided to come check it out. Now, this is the owner of the Mustang. His beautiful wife bought the car brand new, and they gave it to their grandson. Am I right? That's who you gave it to? He had it very, very minimal time and uh, pretty much totaled it out. I don't think Bill realized that uh, this type of car shouldn't have been given to a kid like this, being the first car and all, but uh, we're already past that and now it's time to fix it. Let's go look at your car, Bill, and uh, I want you to make sure you take a deep breath because you're not going to believe what you see, dude. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete. And Minnie, the body shop girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. All right, Bill, what we got, if you look right in this area here, do you see what we're doing here, dude? Yeah. It's a mess. It's a freaking mess, bud. <laughs> but I will tell you this, it looks a lot worse than it, it is. It actually is. <laughs> yeah, so don't get shocked, okay? I ain't worried about it. What we're doing, what we're going to do is we're literally, I was going to end up keeping this upper tie bar, but I'm going to go ahead and cut that, splice it in, and then, of course, you can see your frame rail down here that's bent on the inside. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to have to replace that part. All right, and then we're going to swing around over to here. Now, Dylan just got done cutting all these spot welds out. See all the spot welds? Uh -huh. Because this side here is in real good shape. It's not wrecked. So we want to make sure that we keep this. I see a couple spot welds right here. We're going to have to hit with the air chisel before we knock that off. And then this whole section should fall off the car, bud. Basically, uh, this is what you would call the extreme hard hit collision, bud. Yeah, this is the extreme hard hit collision job that. Uh, Lord. Yeah. So let me see if we can get this off while you're here and see what happens, bud. Now do you understand? 
you see this right here, Bill? Okay, you see this piece here? All right, now we can save all this here. All we gotta do is pound it out and bend it. But do you see the situation, dude, of all the pieces we would've had to buy, bud? To replace all those pieces that we need, we would've had to buy this piece here, we'd have to buy this piece here. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. This piece is separate. You got three pieces inside this thing right here. You got all this core support. You got these bumper rebar, uh, whatever you want to call them, brackets. Okay. Do you understand, Dave? Yeah. And then all the other little stuff like these things here. And you see what I mean? The little Tinker Toy stuff that goes with it. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I am going to cut it down this line here. Do you see what I mean? Uh -huh. I'm going to come back here approximately an inch. I'm going to cut this frame rail off right here, right behind where this bolt is for your sway bar. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to cut this section. See where that line is right there? Yep. I'm going to cut this right here. I'm going to come right here where this line is on this one and I'm going to cut that right there. So by the time I get these spot welds out, over this way, Dylan, bring the camera here. By the time I get these spot welds out, and then I cut this right here, because, see the sway bar down here? Okay, well, yours got hit so hard, this bolt completely ripped out. This one's still there, but this frame structure here is rot rotten. So I'll cut it off right here. Okay, actually, I'm going to cut this one back here. On your car, I'm going to cut it here, because I want this to overlap, dude. Yeah. Alright, and then the same here. I'm going to cut... Uh, your car here. I mean, I'll cut this one off here, and then on your car, I'll cut it back here so it'll all slide in like a puzzle, dude. So when we get it all together, this will all line up perfect. And then, of course, on this side, what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and remove the core support only. This area here, bud. Yeah. And we're going to take that whole section out in one piece, and then watch this, bud. We're going to slide it on yours, dude. And then we're going to paint it red, weld it, paint it red, and it's going to look like you never wrecked it before in your life. <laughs> Good. What do you think of that, dude? Yeah, that sounds great. Now, I want to show you something here, dude. We replaced all your front suspension. We went ahead and replaced both tie rod ends. Your steering rack is brand new. Okay. We also replaced that ball joint's brand new down there. Okay. So, is it looking like it's, anything's getting done, Bill? Does it look yeah. like it's going to be done right? Yeah. All right. I hope uh, we're going to make you, Chase, and Grandma happy. She doesn't want to see it, dude. She said she doesn't want to see it. Bill? No, she don't want to see it. Hell no. So there you go. Another happy day in paradise right here at SWRNC, Southwest Rod and Custom. The do it yourself DIY auto school showing you and the owner how it's done. I got a lot of work to do. We'll be back. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.